Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing and we are right now in the secret lair. You haven't seen it on my channel at least and I fixed the issue there. Apparently OBS, the recording software, had at some point problems with DirectX 9. I switched now to DirectX 11 and um, right now in the um, it looks fine for me so that is really awesome that means we can go on Whew, I'm so glad I'm I have to say I was a little um, bumped down after the last session because I had the fear I could not really go on playing this game because you know um, it would wouldn't be very good if you can't um, record all the parts of the game which is really weird and um, I don't know why there are these technical issues at some point with DirectX 9 um, anyhow for now that is good that we can go on playing the game what I did in the off as well is I actually sold all items we had um, in our inventory I cleared out our inventory so we are off to go on right now. Let us then get to the old tunnels and see how it's working as well. That's really, really great. Ah, that feels so amazing. So we can go on with the game again. I am really, really sorry for the inconvenience there that from that it didn't work out from the beginning. There was a little, I guess, error of my part that I didn't um, check DirectX 11 at the first thing. But again, sorry, sorry, sorry. But for now we can then go on. Oh, let us kill those guys quickly. Because if they want, they can pump out some good damage if you just, you know, stay on the same spot then they are really nasty so I still need to kite do you know what they remember me of if you have played Starcraft 2 the Zerg had a unit called Bloodlord and he um, shot these brutlings they remember me not only from what I how they are attacking you but how they look like at least that remembers me a little bit of Starcraft 2 amazing times there I'm still um, not as intensively as I did in five years ago I think but that were good times you know playing later all the time and now once um, you know once in a month or something like that I'm still doing a little stuff of two sessions just for fun's sake but I got really really slow I still remember I went the high times I know compared to the pro gamers that is not the fastest but I was at around 200 APM and now I'm you know bumping around and a hundred if I have a good day so that's a little sad that you lose a little control and I still remember you know how easy and clear the controls were and now you I don't know whether it's age for example but you get really slow there and the game feels harder than it did a couple of years ago the same thing I'm having with Counter-Strike Source where you know you just um, notice that you haven't played it in a while and um, what was easy once is not easy anymore anyhow that's just normal I guess so killing those guys come on die that one down mastermind here shall fall as well although I'm surprised how much damage the masterminds actually okay this is a special one I guess how much damage they are doing to your character there so taking them out I just used both of oh I shouldn't have used it anyhow I did that was a little waste because I think I used a health portion and the aura there and then we had the level up so that overall was a little fail. Anyhow, without fails you don't proceed in your life I guess even in a game. And I'm so bad in aiming the 
the lightning attack there, and there I really need to get used to as well. So, gone they are. Now I guess I need to have the container killed. First container gone, so I guess only a couple of them remain. How many? I don't see how many. Some healing potions would be nice. Oh, I used it too. No, I died. Crap. Let's respawn right here again and get into it. So that's always the fun um, part, actually, if you are beginning to record um, a piece of software, whether it is a game or whatever. I have that always with games that, um, on the one hand, for some weird reason, YouTube is when you you can have the brightest game. YouTube is always um, making the game a little bit darker or the video footage to be precise. So you have to play the game a little, um, a little. Um, you know you need to um, turn up the brightness, and so you always need to you know adjust a little bit and always take a look how it looks like. It's a little bit weird but that's just portions. it and um, there are what I haven't even thought about um, before there are games um, I don't know whether that oh, is man. how these games are coded there are games which are really where the file size is getting really really large um, and other games where the file size of the you know recorded videos is not being too too large so there's always some things which are still confusing me and where I don't really have a clue but I don't even know why I am talking about that so we have to take down gas projectors and I have to say I think spitters are a nasty enemy because um, they do quite a lot of damage. I may should pump up my health, but that is something entirely different, I guess. So I need to retreat now. Oh, there was a little. Uh, so let's. Uh, I, need I can't do that. The bad part, of course, Oris, is if you die and respawn at a checkpoint, it just costs, you know, around two or three thousand gold. In the end, you know, you notice that as well. So that is a little weird. So one more spitter or two more spitters. He just... It takes him one or two shots, man. That's really insane. So do the, the masterminds and the spitters technically look the same, don't they? At least they're looking very... Not identical, but you know, they look the same actually. At least in my little weird mind. So we here we have a genius, which we shall take down right now. So we did critical hits are 250 damage. That is really nice. So this guy is gone. He dropped some cool loot, I think. That is always cool in this game. If I will always compare this game to Inquisitor Matter. Um, that what I like a little bit more is um, I always call that Diablo like. That you you know you can access your inventory in this game directly when you are on the go. So I can put it like that and take a look and if I would like to equip new items that's a little different to Inquisitor Martyr where you only can access your inventory once you are on the ship or to be precise there between missions you can only change your gear. I think that is a weird decision there because I'm actually always used to, you know, to do it like the Diablo way. But, you know, you get used to that after a couple of games as well. 
you know what I mean with that is that you have a little in my opinion more flexibility when you can change your items in between the game but that's just my opinion on that so they are gone. I need to retreat at least a little bit. Would be so nice if Katrina would respawn. There she is, I hope. Uh, our health regeneration is really, really bad. So take, uh, take on a little health portion there to make it Some quicker. So these guys are nearly all of them goners. Yes, gone. They are pretty nice, I think. So then, oh crap! I'm nearly down. I don't want to die. So. Um, we have then cleared out the tunnels at least a little bit. What we are going to do right now is going back to Dracula and turn in the mission. The good part there is that you, I take that way, that you then, I think I haven't, um, because of the technical issues there, I haven't posted, oh crap, any, you know, Dracula is technically not on this channel and that I want to change right now. It's a good point to get in the crest and show you guys the Dracula. What I really think is amazing is his um, accent. As you probably know, um, Dracula is Romanian, I think. So he has a nice um, Eastern accent, at least that I think is quite funny. And let's kill the breeders there. Gone they are. And let's take on the essence. Now there are some masterminds as well. Killing them quickly, quickly, quickly. And gone there are the good part right now then that we clear out this um, part down here as well and don't have to enter it again to clear it. That's pretty nice. So, four gas containers. So let's see what um, Vladimir is actually going to tell us in the next episode, in the, you know, after we were at Dracula, I will end this episode and then we will go on clearing out all that stuff up there. So we can go on again as I said the begin the beginning of this mission I'm so glad that we right now can go and do the secret hideout or the secret layer to be precise because it is a integral part of the game I guess so that's always right now so for a couple of you guys I guess that is the first time you hear and see Dracula I think that's quite nice you are back splendid the machine has been destroyed but I fear it was just the first phase of a much more sinister plan. Of course it was. I wouldn't expect less of any self-respecting mad scientist at any rate. Alright, the gas protector Professor Fulmigadi created an apparatus that could shroud the entire city with poisonous, mind-altering gas. Such a diab diabolical device must not be allowed to exist. Evil minds always have several plans in motion. You saw what the mind-weakening gas could do. Fulmigati created a poison from the same substance. He named it the Puppet Master Concoction. He will introduce the poison into the water system and turn everyone into mindless slaves. Sounds like a proper mad scientist to me. So what can we do about it? The resistance guards the water plant, but they are outnumbered. Our spies report that Fulmigati will send Breda, his most dangerous creature, among others. You must kill it and them. One man and a ghost against a whole army. Story of my life. How can we get to the water plant? Through the industrial port. 
You must destroy the hostile guard posts along the way so we can send in reinforcements later. Alright, that is something for one of the next episodes. So now guys, that brings us to the end. Then we will speak to the sign uh, to the um <laughs> to the engineer here as well. For now, I really thank you for watching guys. If you have enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you have anything to say, say it and we will see us hopefully in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.